already. So as restrictions are starting to be lifted here in Germany, since things are improving, we're starting to get back into the theater and back to work to a certain capacity. So this video is sort of a sum up of the past three weeks of my life as a ballet dancer and a fellow human being. <laughs> and if you've been enjoying my content so far, please remember to subscribe. It really helps me out and I appreciate it. And also if you do like the video, if you can please like it. Thank you. Week one meant finally leaving our apartment, not for the sole purpose of going grocery shopping, exercising, or a dentist visit. How wild. I had been asked to be a part of these live stream performances that they call Monday concerts with minimal staff, so I wasn't really like officially back at work, but there were a bunch of rules that we had to follow to make this happen. Okay, so we're about to approach the theater. I hope you guys can hear me through my mask. So there's a bunch of safety regulations for the dancers and everyone in the theater, so for the dancers we're not allowed to use the showers, we're not really supposed to be in our dressing rooms, so that's why I have like a workout outfit already on. We're also supposed to keep the safety distance, of course, and uh, just my fiance will be with me. So don't worry, if I'm close to him, I'm allowed to be. Uh, and yeah, we'll show you inside the theater and uh, what's going on in there. Okay, we have the key to the studio and the sanitation wipes. That's what a ballet studio looks like, in case we forgot. As I already mentioned, there were a lot of regulations in place. We had a small allotment in the day that we could give ourselves class and I could rehearse after having been in lockdown the past nearly two months. <laughs> We just did class and I did rehearsal and what I'm going to be dancing on this live stream on the 25th is uh, the second Emerald Girl solo to try and um, come back and perform after about two months in my living room on concrete to only having about two weeks to prepare. We'll, we'll see how I do. The theater has been going through a lot trying to figure out how to do things safely. So we have this big empty studio to ourselves. But I mean, I'm really grateful to get to dance. Like I miss dancing and I love dancing this particular piece. So that helps a lot to motivate me. We've been really careful about what we bring into our apartment, so as soon as we're back home, everything goes in the wash and we get washed too. During the rest of our day, we continued pretty much as we had been during the entire lockdown, so I still wasn't like meeting up with friends a lot or taking public transit more than I actually really needed to. During this time, I got to experience my first ever lockdown style show. No audience, minimal staff around, uh, but one thing that did not change was getting myself prepared for the show by first doing a little warm up. If it was a normal work day, typically I would have taken company class earlier in the day and then also rehearsed for the show. But this show was similar sort of to what would happen on a Sunday performance, for instance, which is to warm myself up and not rehearse much beforehand. Usually on performance days like this, I'll do an extra workout in the morning just to get my heart rate up. I don't like having the first time I get tired to be on stage. I was really nervous to do my own hair and makeup, which is silly, but I hadn't done it in the years since I moved to Munich. We're not even allowed to do our own hair, and for a featured role like this, I would usually have a time slot with one of our makeup and hair artists, so I'm also not allowed to do my makeup in that instance. But my worrying was unnecessary. Apparently, I'd learned a thing or two from our hair department, and I actually did a good job, so I was really proud of myself. The performance itself was so different than how it's normally done, but I did really enjoy having something to work on the past two weeks and getting a little of that performing feeling again, even if it was in an unusual way. So we're finally back a little bit with our colleagues. This only happened a couple days after that lockdown style show. 
I know that there's other companies in Europe right now exploring safe ways also to get back into the studio. Here we've split into little groups that will then stay together for probably the remainder of the season I'd imagine. I've missed my friends and the camaraderie. Now my fiance and I are working for another upcoming concert which is always fulfilling for us to get to partner with each other. There's just a whole other extra level of trust. But I mean, there's also like the hard parts too, like you're overly honest. <laughs> if you guys want to hear what it's like to work alongside your real life partner, you can let me know and maybe that can be a future video. So I'm actually recording this in between one of our small company classes and a rehearsal later in the day. So we have a few hours and we have to wait extra time because they have to clean the studios properly and everything. So people are being very safe. That's really good. So. This is just a quick little intro and outro for you guys, and I hope that you've been enjoying the content. Like I said, please subscribe and like if you do, and I will see you next time. Bye!